So what are the major changes you've seen in reggae over the last 20 years? The multicultural increase, um, which has been great because it means now that reggae is not a fashion. So when you see kids doing it, elders doing it and the veterans doing it, that shows that it's a generational thing. So what are the major differences that you see between uh, UK and New Zealand uh, reggae cultures? Reggae originated in Jamaica, so we're like ge second generation. So bands like us who came to New Zealand was like the root foundation of New Zealand reggae because we are actually more popular than Bob Marley when we first came here 36 years ago because we had four records in the chart at the same time plus our album went gold. So reggae was like, we was just like at the time the fashion. Right. So understand when we came here we did 12 shows in 14 days. Wow. So we went from south right up to the north, sure, um, covering everywhere, and that was the demand. So we've noticed now, when we listen to New Zealand reggae, it's more UK-based ah. than Jamaican-based, um, which Lovers Rock was originated in UK. And when you listen to New Zealand reggae, you hear that chord structure right. that represents the Lovers Rock style. Nice. So. UK, UK and New Zealand reggae is very close. So what were the defining factors in uh, ending the hiatus and uh, getting the band back together again? Right, well, when we broke up, it wasn't because of a problem. It was more of understanding that music for us is a love. Sure. And we never ever wanted to stop loving playing the music. Sure. And with touring around, you know, we toured with basically everyone. You know, we've played with most artists that was originated out of Jamaica right and for us when we saw them as our idols and saw how they were in their prime we knew that that part we didn't want right so we knew the importance of setting a foundation so that we could always play music for the love and not play music because we have to so what did you have to do to maintain that foundation so you could always play reggae music and music you loved we, we moved on to into um, manufacturing and producing, right? Which um, gave us the same kind of satisfaction as playing. Sure, but it doesn't mean meant that we didn't wasn't up front doing things. Yes. So we went to manufacturing. We, so at the, even at the moment, we still manufacture. We do manufacture vinyl records. Nice. From ever since we never left it. Yes. And we also did production. Anthony did um, the Sir George production. Right. And Desmond also does his production. Cool. So we kept in the game doing the business until we were able to get back together on the road and here we are. So would you be able to fill us in on who's in the current lineup of Black Slate? Well, we have uh, three of the original members, uh, which is my dad, uh, oh, cool. Anthony Brightley. Yeah. Uh, we have Chris Hansen um, on guitar and we have um, Des Mahoney on drums. Colin McNeish plays bass and I am the newest addition. Nice. Um, uh, I've just been with, the, with these guys for let's say three years now well thanks very much guys for the privilege of coming on push play tv and uh good luck today with your show at um east coast vibes push play tv big up yourself every time, every time.